Hello and welcome to Siddhi. This video is about the important topics of maths and reasoning for SSC exams of 2025. This video is useful for all those writing CGL, CHSL, MTS and the reasoning topics are valid for JE exam also. Watch this video till the end and if you want a similar comparison with respect to GS and English, you let me know in the comment section. I will do that in the next two days. Now let us start with maths first. In maths, based on the questions that are asked in selection phase 13 and steno exam, the priority of the topics goes like this. First, mensuration, then geometry. After that, come to statistics, then probability, permutations and combinations, then trigonometry, coordinate geometry, heights and distances. After that, go to algebra and then number systems. Please understand, this time the questions are easy to moderate and concept based on advanced math. Whereas the questions are extremely calculative and time consuming in arithmetic. So it is important for us to get our grip on advanced math first then proceed towards arithmetic because the concept of arithmetic is easy but the calculations are important. Let us start with the important topics of advanced math. I want you to sit with a pen and paper and note down these important topics. Let us start with mensuration. In mensuration we have 2D and 3D. Of 2D and 3D. 3D is at most important. In 3D, right prism, right pyramid, cone, cylinder. A cone is cut into halves with a plane parallel to its base where heights are equal. The next case where volumes are equal. Concept of frustum. Then a hemispherical bowl with a cone on top of it. Or an ice cream cone with a spherical or hemispherical ice cream on top of it and concepts related to this a rectangular paper is folded into the form of a cone or spheres are melted and made into smaller spheres hemisphere hollow cylinder hollow sphere you should have a complete understanding and grip on these topics then in 2d you should have grip on parallel piped areas with respect to trapezium then a rectangular park with a path laid outside the park, path laid inside the park and path laid crisscross the park and the cost that is incurred with respect to laying grass on the entire path. These kind of questions of mensuration 2D. Then questions on painting a wall or painting a brick where the cost per square kilometer is given. These are important in mensuration 2D. After this focus on geometry. Geometry, there are three major subtopics. One is triangles, second is circles, third is polygons. In triangles, all the three centers, that is circumcenter, orthocenter, incenter, ratios with respect to in radius, circum radius, and x radius. Then the same concepts applied in an equilateral triangle and a right angle triangle. There are five different properties that are there on a right angle triangle which defines a relation between the hypotenuse, the altitude and the sides. All those properties. Apollonius theorem, midpoint theorem and the applications of midpoint theorem with respect to areas that is Thales theorem. Then with respect to triangles, properties of centroid. The ratio between orthocenter, circumcenter and centroid and these kind of problems are important with respect to triangles. Along with that, finding of areas that is S is equal to under root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C type of that is Heron's formula. Then formula such as small r is equal to delta by S, capital R is equal to ABC by 4 delta and all these area related formulas are extremely important in triangles. Then the next topic is circles. In circles, important concepts are finding the angle in different segments and the angles with respect to various centers. Then alternate segment theorem, chords and tangents, especially tangents are important. In tangents, the two principles that is PA into PB is equal to PC into PD, PT square is equal to PA into PB, these two concepts and their applications. Along with that, in circles, we have concentric circles and circles intersecting at two different points. In both those concepts, we have three different values that is radius 1, radius 2 and D that is distance between the centers. There are four different concepts or four different formulas on this which involve the distance between radii and the radii 1 and radii 2. These concepts are extremely important with respect to circles. There can be questions on sectors as well. 
In sectors, L is equal to R theta based concepts and the area of sectors. After this, the next priority is polygons. In polygons, please be very good at regular hexagon. The rest are important, but it's okay even if you don't know them. Regular hexagon is extremely important. This is with respect to geometry. After geometry, handle the basics of statistics. In statistics, mean, variance, mode, median, interquartile range, and then certain concepts of Carl Pearson coefficient. These are the questions that were asked in phase 13 and you can expect similar questions in your upcoming CGL as well. After statistics, then switch to trigonometry. In trigonometry, make sure you are good at problems based on secant square a minus tan square a, cosecant square a minus cot square a and sin square theta plus cos square theta. Of these three, secant square a minus tan square a is extremely important. There are certain questions that can be formed on this using algebraic formula as well. So these are also important. Along with that, please be sure on 2a based formula, 3a based formula that is sin 2 theta, cos 2 theta. Similarly, tan 3 theta, cot 3 theta type of problems. Then sin of a plus b, sin of a minus b, cos of a plus b, cos of a minus b, the whole set of a plus b and a minus b for sin, cos and tan. These are important in, in trigonometry. Next important topic is heights and distances. Heights and distances is very easy provided you know the concept. There are four major questions that are extremely important. Question number one, there is a tree that was broken into half and fell down. Question number two, there are two ships and there is a light post. Two ships are approaching the light post from opposite directions. Third, there is a light post. There are two ships. Two ships are traveling away from the light post. Four, there is a tower. There is a building and you have an angle of depression with respect to the top of the building from the top of the tower. There is an angle of depression from the top of the tower to the foot of the building. These are extremely important. You practice these at all costs. Next is coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry is also extremely easy. They are asking you questions from coordinate geometry. Be good at y equal to mx, y equal to mx plus c. Then distance formula. Then formula for an equation which is formed using different coordinates. So these are with respect to coordinate geometry. Then after these are completed, come to number systems. In number systems, make yourself experts at reminder theorem and divisibility rules along with the factor theorem. Of these three, reminder theorem is extremely important. Then along with number system, practice LCM HCF. In LCM HCF, you should be good at three things. Number one, in what kind of questions you are picking LCM? In what kind of questions you are picking HCF? What is the relation between LCM HCF and two numbers A comma B? These are important in LCM and HCF. Then make sure you do the basics of probability and permutations and combinations. If not the entire chapter, please do at least the following list with respect to probability and permutation combinations. With respect to probability, coins, cards, dice, drawing a card out of certain out of an entire pack, base theorem. These four are important. In permutations and combinations, removing balls from a barbell with replacement, without replacement, number of words that can be formed with repetition, without repetition and along with that condition based questions. For example, we are drawing card from a pack of cards. It should be a red faced card. So these kind of conditional probability based questions are important in the entire module of probability, permutations and combinations. Once this is completed, be good at arithmetic. In arithmetic, there are certain questions which are important. One is installments in SI and CI. Then mixtures. In mixtures, repeated replacement. Then allegations are necessary. In this profit and loss and discount altogether, there are more questions on discount and chain based profit and loss. That is something is sold for X percentage profit again sold for Y percentage profit. If the person is obtaining Z amount of rupees, what is the original amount? These kind of chain based questions because they are calculative in nature. Then circular races, linear races, boats. In time and distance, there are questions on average speed, police and thief models, stoppages. These are extremely important. In percentages, price consumption expenditure, income savings and expenditure, election voters problems. So these are the most important topics for SSC CGL exams or for that matter SSC exams of 2025. Please make sure you are good at all these topics and after these topics are done, then you can proceed towards any other topics. Now with respect to reasoning. In reasoning, the new thing that happened is there are certain new topics that are introduced. And the along with introducing new topics, what they did is they made the old topics difficult. For example, coding, decoding. 
number based number series alphabet based coding decoding as well as number based coding decoding analogies these topics they made them extremely complicated by bringing in weird logics along with that they introduced difficult concepts in blood relations and direction test also so instead of running behind these difficult questions which are going to eat up your time be good at emotional intelligence critical thinking simple pointing to a picture type of blood relations regular direction based test order and ranking input and output type of questions these questions are extremely easy and doable provided you have the right kind of practice so my suggestion for you all is first finish all these topics then you go to difficult topics now the last thing that we want to talk about with respect to maths there is a bigger question that is what are our sources if you have a very good theory notes do not change your source at this moment if you don't have any theory notes i have two suggestions for you one sarvesh k varma book with theory second one is old version of kiran prakashan book in that version theory is compiled in a very elegant manner if you want we will provide a soft copy of this by scanning the entire theory that is needed now the last announcement that i want to make siddhi ssc rrb channel at this moment has 21500 subscribers if this number reaches 30000 on or before 4th of september on 5th of september on the eve of teachers day i will take up one marathon on youtube to cover the entire theory with respect to advanced math and if time permits on that day i will take up the theory that is necessary for arithmetic as well but we will take up theory of advanced math at any cost on this channel on 5th of september on the eve of teachers day provided this channel crosses 30000 subscriber mark on that day see you all on that day all the best